back to the channel everybody where we go in search of wildlife photography. I'm Doug Wallace for the Wildlife Gallery. Say we're stuck back here in my wife's office here at the house. Uh, she's off to a doctor's appointment so I thought I would uh, take over her office today and shoot this video on the Benro TTOR35 tripod with the GH2F folding gibble head attached to it. I purchased, I purchased it as a kit, uh, like I showed you all in the uh, corny unboxing video. So, but uh, today I just wanted to get back in here, kind of give you all another overall look of this uh, tripod with the gimbal head. Uh, like I'd said, you can purchase this as a kit. It all comes together. And uh, I'll end up showing you the feature that kind of put me over the top that this is the setup that I was wanting. But what I didn't want is the $749 price tag that it comes with along with the sales tax uh, that you would have to pay. You can get free shipping on this from just about any uh, place that you can find them. Now I did order this off of Amazon, but I still had to pay sales tax. Uh, I'm in Missouri, I guess, uh, I, I don't understand Amazon sometimes. Uh, sometimes I have to pay sales tax, sometimes I don't. My address never changes. But anyways, getting back uh, to the Benro uh, kit here, uh, the feature that I really liked about uh, this uh, setup is the uh, cradle arm that your camera goes to, so it just goes, I think this they call this a, a, a Swiss army mount or something like that, so you can see it just goes on there. I can tell you this is really uh, uh, built really, really well. And your camera goes here, so you're Camera can mount right here like this. Mount it down. You can undo the nut and rotate your camera the way you want it. But you can see, I don't have it balanced at the moment so it has a little give. So now all I gotta do is undo this side button here. Move this forward a little bit and see now if it'll balance. There we have it, perfectly balanced. I can tilt it up, the foot off of the uh, camera lens there, that uh, mount right there, plenty of clearance here. Even if I run this all the way down, I still have clearance. Well, no, it's, it will hit right there. But you can just keep playing with that until it clears right there, it barely clears. So now we can lock it down. Plenty of free movement here. Some of the reviews that I had seen on this setup, uh, guys were complaining that it was just too stiff, but I'm not finding that. Uh, it's brand new. It is stiff enough to hold your camera in whatever position that you want it. So I find that good. I was out in the yard this morning just uh, shooting some uh, blue jays and robins, just anything I could uh, find that might fly from me and be able to pan with it, this and that. Like I said, it is just stiff enough to hold your camera right where you're wanting it. And I, I think that's gonna be a, a game changer. I, uh, I really, really like the setup so far. So now let's get to uh, the one feature that I like that uh, besides the price, and I'll put this uh, camera down. We'll take this cradle off. You can just push that button right there. Voila. Folds up flat as a pancake. Travel really uh, uh, well with that. Won't take up much space. But now, where the uh, cradle went, I can just turn it, rotate it where it's horizontal. I can take the camera, put it up here, and now I can mount straight to this instead of using the cradle. So 
See there? Again, perfectly balanced. Just enough friction to hold your camera in any position you want. You still have the full movement. This here will lock the panning mode down. And do that. This top screw here, if you want to lock in on something and you know it's not going to be moving, you can just lock that down there. And Really, really nice, guys. If you're looking for a tripod with a gimbal head, don't overlook the Benro TTOR35 uh, with the GH2F folding gimbal head. So let's take the camera off now. Set the camera down. So to fold this part here, you just have to undo that nut, pick that up like that. And this thing will fold right over and then you can lock that back down. You can transport it like that. Comes with a nice neoprene uh, hood on this thing that will velcro around it for transportation. Really easy to get up. So probably, uh, and I think this thing is light enough, you know, to get put up, put over your shoulder, take off. Um, I'm sure there's probably lighter ones out there, but uh, I was thinking that this might be too heavy to go out and pack around and use as a, uh, you know, a walkabout tripod. But after using it out in the yard and walking around with it over my shoulder and even with the camera on it, locking the camera down so it won't move, I really don't think it's going to be too heavy. Um, the two things that I don't like about the setup, and I knew that going into it, is the size of the uh, ring up here at the top, right here. So this is where all your weight is being distributed to. I would have probably preferred this to be, you know, two or three times bigger in circumference than what it is. But... It's not, and that's one of the things that's going to have to deal with. And then the other thing is these control knobs for running your legs in and out. That's just going to take way too much time in the heat of the moment. I think that's going to cost you some shots probably in the long run. I would prefer if it just had the clasp, you know, where you just popped it off, put it out, locked it right back down. That doesn't take very long at all. Uh, the, these uh, here, I'm worried that over time they're going to uh, wear out. But you can see how long it takes to do that, let it out, go up here, turn it back down, lock it in tight. Whereas I was saying, if you had that clasp, all you have to do is pop it open, let it down, pop it back. And just like this, when I was picking this up, I inadvertently un undone this one over here and I wasn't meaning to. So those are the two things that I don't like about the setup. And I knew that going into it, uh, that had kind of kept me from uh, buying this until it went on sale and Amazon was showing it for $506. And if you do some research, this gimbal head, the GH2F gimbal head itself is like $499. Basically, I got the tripod for free. Uh, if you take a look at the kit online now, it's like $749 plus sales tax. So anyways, uh, brand new to me. You saw the uh, Corny unboxing video yesterday. But anyways, that's it. I've played with it a little bit. Guys, give this a look. If you don't mind uh, paying $749 for a uh, gimbal head and a tripod, take a hard look at this before you buy one. Uh, I, I think you may like it. And like I said in yesterday's video, I'm not being sponsored by anyone, but you all watching this, and I'm paying for this stuff out of my own pocket. Nobody's sending me money through Patreon or uh, joining a club or anything like that. And again, I'm not knocking those guys that are doing that. It does take a tremendous amount of time uh, to put videos and stuff together. And as you know, this uh, camera equipment is not cheap. 
and uh, uh, I'm not really intending this channel to be a uh, equipment review uh, type channel, but I thought it would be kind of nice for me to show from an amateur standpoint uh, how excited I was to be able to, to get a uh, tripod with a gimbal head on it. And then just to show you uh, how it's put together, how well it's made. If I had to give this uh, a score and it was on a scale of 1 to 10 and 10 being the best, Right off the bat here, I'd give this uh, Benro uh, kit here, I'd give it a 9.9. .9. Like I said, the only two things that I don't like about it is the size of uh, the head area up here. I think if that was bigger, it'd just make it more stable. And uh, these turning knobs, I'm going to call them, uh, it would be a whole lot better if you just had a clasp to flip open, run the leg down, and lock it back down. Uh, Doing this here, I, I am worried that these are going to wear out over time, and I'm pretty sure the amount of time that it takes me to set it up, I practiced with it two dozen times out in the yard this morning, and it does take a whole lot longer to set up. So it's probably going to cost cost you a few shots in the long run, especially if uh, you do what I do, and that's primarily wildlife photography. But anyways, guys like share subscribe to the channel if you would let me know in the comments what you think about this uh benro tt or 35 tripod kit with the gh2f gimbal head if uh, you're looking to maybe upgrade or get one because you don't have one and you're wanting one like i was before you purchase one i would i would give this a serious look guys uh I may not buy it at the $749, but if you just keep your eyeball open and then catch it on sale like I did, uh, I don't think you can find a better value out there uh, for the money, quite honestly. So anyways, thanks for watching. Again, like, subscribe to the channel, and remember to be safe while you're out there getting your wildlife photos or whatever other kind of photography you're, you're doing with whatever camera gear you're doing it with. Just make sure to have fun, but be safe while you're doing it. I'm positive somebody at home would like to see you again. I'll catch you all on the next one.